This is problem number five from section seven dash five. It says the body max, the body mass index for a sample for men and a sample for women are given below. Assume that the sample is simple random samples obtained from populations with normal distributions. So here's the data set for men and for women. They want us to construct a 90 percent confidence interval to estimate the standard deviation for BMIs for of BMIs for men. That's part A. So for this, what we want to do is we want to remember So for this, what we want to do is remember our formula, uh, which is a square root of n minus 1 times s squared divided by chi squared r less than sigma less than the square root of n minus 1 s squared over chi squared l. Um, so looking at our formula, it looks like we're going to need n. n is equal to 10. And remember, when n is equal to 10, the degrees of freedom is 9. And uh, we need s. And we're also going to need the chi-squared critical values. So let's first find the chi-squared critical values by looking at table A4. So table A4 can be found in the back of the textbook. Several places actually. So we are looking at the 90% confidence and our n is a 10 but our degrees of freedom is 9 so it's important that we go to the row 9 and um, with a 90% 90% confidence that means our area is going to be cut in half, so that's a 5% on the right side and 5% uh, on the left side, which will yield 95% uh, on the right side. So our two critical values, uh, the value on the left would be 3.325, and the value on the right would be 16.196. So let's take a quick shot of this. And remember our values here. So these are two values that we're looking at. Uh, but remember that this is the left side and this is the right side. So I think we're ready to get our calculators out. And the first thing to do to find our standard deviation is to input all this data. And so if you remember, you go to stat and then you either press number one or just enter because number one's already highlighted. That's edit. And then you have your list, so go through your list one and type in each of these numbers. I went ahead and did that. So my list one has the men's BMIs, and my list two has the women's BMIs. For, but for this particular exercise, we're only going to need the first one. So we want to uh, find the standard deviation. So we go to stat, calc, one of our stats. And then you don't need to if your list is in L1, but just so that you get used to it, you press second function and the number of your list, and then you press enter. So here's our standard deviation. Now remember that uh, in our standard deviation, we really only want the S standard deviation. So Here's our standard deviation. We'll write it down. Uh, it's 4.28186. Now, if you're presenting this data, you would stop at 4.28, and then that's one decimal place past the original set of data. But uh, since this is an intermediate calculation, and the end game is to find the limits for your uh, standard deviation confidence interval, you want as many decimal places as possible. Uh, so I'm going to go with five decimal places. The next digit after that is zero, 09, and so I'll just leave it at that.
and then uh, I'll go ahead and do the calculations on my calculator. So let's uh, go back to the home screen and we want um, our square root formula. So second function and the square root. So n remember was 10, so 10 minus 1 is 9. I'll just go ahead and press 9 times the s that we found and remember we want to go to as many decimal places as possible. And then we square that. And then we divide by the chi-square r. So the r, remember, is on the right side. That's 16.919. So 16.919. All right, so we'll go ahead and press Enter for that. And we get 3.122. Uh, I guess, yes, 3.12 would be rounded off to two decimal places. To get the y, uh, to, to get the other upper bound, we go. Uh, we essentially going to type the same thing. So I'm going to press second function and enter to get us to the to the previous entry. And I'm going to move my cursor to the left until I get to the beginning of the denominator. And I'll just change the chi-squared value in the denominator. And I'm going to put 3.325. Now, I have a blinking 9 here, which I don't want, so I'm going to press delete for that. Don't press clear, press delete. And then if I press enter, I'm going to get the right-hand side of that, 7.04. So let's try putting in those values, 3.12 and 7.04. Three point one two and seven point oh four, and then we got it right. So the next question is similar. It's for women, so we can go through the same process. And so to do this, what we'll do is um, let's do the same thing, except we need a different standard deviation. So let's do a quick calculation back in your. Let's save some keystrokes here, okay? So let's not do anything to the home screen. Don't clear it. We're going to use the previous, the previous uh, command. Let's just figure out what our s is equal to. So let's go to stat, calc, and I, I had already put this in my, uh, in my list too. So I'm going to do a one of our stats. on list 2 and then I'll run that so I see that my standard deviation is uh, 6.862 so let's get our standard deviation down here S is equal to 6.862004 so let's just leave it at that and then n is still equal to 10 so our degrees of freedom is going to be 9 again so we're going to do the same thing second and uh, square root and then we have uh, 10 minus 1 again times the standard deviation this time is 6 0.862 squared divided by uh, if you remember the the critical values for this was uh, for the first one was 16.919 and then go ahead and press enter and before we do anything with that let's just find the next one right away because that will stay in the screen uh, the change is in the chi-square L which in this case is 3.325 and remember to delete that last bit and then press enter again 
so we should be able to put this in our in our um, answer. So that's 5.00 or 5. Point just 5 and then 11.289. So at the two decimal places, uh, 11.29. Let's give that a try. Okay, so we got that one correct. And then um, the last bit is asking us to compare and interpret the results. So uh, to compare and interpret the results, it's asking us since the intervals do not overlap, populations appear to have amounts since the intervals overlap, since the intervals over. So we need to figure out if the intervals overlap. So for that, what we're going to do is we're going to um, to look at this in a number line. And uh, for the men's, it's from 3.12 to 7.04. And then 5 is between here. For the women's, it's 5.00 and all the way here to 11. 0.29. So we know that these intervals actually do overlap. So we can cross out the possibility that they don't overlap because they do overlap right here. Since the intervals overlap, populations appear to have different amounts of variations. Since the intervals overlap, population appear to have amounts of variations that are not substantially different. So if they overlap, it looks like there's some areas here between 5 and 7 BMI body ma max index that look like they would overlap and that would be similar so I think the, the best answer here um, would be C so let's uh, let's check our answer C and looks like it worked out for us